Hi, I'm Howard Kramer, Curatorial Director of the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame and Museum in Cleveland, Ohio, and I'm standing in front of the museum's Jimi Hendrix exhibit. Now, the phrase Guitar Hero has been bandied about a lot. In fact, it's even become a brand name. But Jimi Hendrix is one of the few who really fulfilled the promise of that role. Hendrix revolutionized electric guitar, sonically, technique, and in terms of recording artist, he remains unparalleled many, many decades after his death. Born November 27, 1942, Jimi Hendrix was given his first guitar at age 16 by his father, Al. He played in a number of bands in the Northwest, and then after joining the Army and serving as a paratrooper, he began working as a musician. He worked with many well-known people, including Sam Cooke, the Impressions, the Isley Brothers, and Little Richard. Eventually, Hendrix was discovered by Chaz Chandler, the former bass player of the Animals. Chandler brought Hendrix back to England just as the summer of love was exploding over there and saw his potential. They put together the Jimi Hendrix experience and of course, as they say, the rest is recorded music history. While best known for playing right-handed Fender Stratocaster's Lefty to accommodate his left-handed ability, Jimi Hendrix owned many electric guitars, including this 1967 Gibson Flying V. He played it throughout 1967 and in 1968 and eventually he gave it to Mick Cox, the guitar player in the group Era Parent, who Hendrix also produced. Cox, for some unknown reason, sanded off the custom painted finish that Hendrix himself had put on the guitar. It passed hands several times until a subsequent owner had it restored to the identical way in which Hendrix had it painted, and that's the way we see it now. Also on exhibit here at the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame and Museum is this Tony Zemitis 12-string acoustic guitar. It's very famously played by Jimi Hendrix in the opening sequence of a movie called A Film About Jimi Hendrix. There, Hendrix sat on a blank white set on a stool with this instrument playing Hear My Train a Coming. It became one of the most iconic visions of Jimi Hendrix. Town, yeah, I gotta leave this town. Gonna make the whole 